Hi everybody, it is Amanda here with you from DeSalle Real Estate and I am here to talk to you today about the real estate transaction process. This is Transaction Thursday, if you will. So, wanted to share a little bit with you. So today I have um, the steps in a real estate transaction. While these steps are typical, each transaction is unique and may require more or less than what is discussed here. Every client is unique, just like every transaction is unique. But this is a pretty typical process when you're talking about purchasing a home. So we have about eight different uh, periods or stretches of time that we'll discuss. The first is the pre-approval period. And there is a reason that you should get pre-approved. There are actually lots of them. Uh, but the most important is you need to know how much house you can buy. Uh, so I'm going to share with you a couple of different things, resources that I'm going to list at the bottom, and you can absolutely uh, have those available to you. I'll be happy to send them to you. But this is from the National Association of Realtors site, and it just gives you some examples of why you should get pre-approved and how you can get ready for home ownership. So I'll share that with you as well. But it is important to know what kind of mortgage you qualify for, how much of a mortgage you qualify for, and anything else you might need during the process. Next begins the home search period. Once you know how much money or how much house you can afford, the next step then is to begin the home search, begin looking for that perfect house. Depending on your criteria, this can take uh, a short amount of time or a long amount of time. I always suggest to my clients that you make a must-have list and a really nice-to-have list uh, so that we can look for those things that are must-haves. And it really takes some time to think about that. Once we found the perfect house, then we begin right here. We're right here on step three, which is the initial negotiation period. So we, you and I will work together to negotiate what we believe is the best price on that particular property. And then we move to the contract period after buyer and seller have all agreed on the price and the terms of the property. We move to the contract period. That point's when we contact your lender, let them know that we have a contract. You'll be applying for your insurance during that time. You'll be uh, ready to move on to the next step, which is the inspection period. So I have another resource to share with you for that, which is reasons you need to get a home inspection. I'm going to share this resource as well. Uh, it is always, always, always our advice that you get a home inspection. Uh, it can uncover all kinds of different things about the property, uh, both good and bad, and allows us to move forward in the process to determine what repairs might be necessary and which, who's going to be able to pay for those, whether it be the seller or the buyer. From that point, after we've made those agreements, we move to what we call the pre-closing period. This is where you'll be working closely with your lender. Things will be, uh, we'll have the appraisal here. Uh, we will move toward, uh, the lender will get your things to the underwriter. Um, we get through some other documents on our end. Uh, this usually takes uh, about two, two weeks or so after the inspection period. We call that the closing period. And then we move to the closing period. You will get a uh, closing disclosure from your lender three days prior to closing. Let you know all the ins and outs, all the final tally marks of uh, what you'll either be bringing to the table or possibly getting back if you are selling your home. And then we have the closing period, which is actually closing day or those three days prior. Once you've received that, what we call an ALTA statement, you'll be moving to the closing period. Uh, closing typically takes about 30 minutes. You have to have your driver's license, photo ID, and uh, then you get to sign lots and lots of documents with your title company. So that pre-closing period and closing period brings us to our third resource that I'm going to share with you today, which is why, what is title insurance and why do you need it when you purchase a home? So this is uh, another research that I'll share with you. It just talks about what is title insurance and why it is a good thing to have. And then finally, the welcome home phase. So on closing day, we hand you those keys. And then the next step is the welcome home phase. That's when you'll be moving in and enjoying your new home. If you would like for me to share these resources with you, uh, with like any information that I can share with you, I'll be happy to do that. In fact, I'll send you this full document that has the links to all of our resources today. Have a great day, everyone, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.